All right, are you ready for your first taste? I'm ready. Hello, I'm Maddie. And I'm Leah. Hello. Maddie's a scientist, and Maddie's coming today to play a game with us. But not just any game, a tasting game. I just hope whatever you have me tasting is yummy, Maddie. Um, yes, all yummy, I think. Okay. Well, my tummy's grumbling and I'm hungry and ready to play. Have you ever played a tasting game before? If you put your hand out, Leah, I will give you the first mystery item. Okay. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Ready to taste? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mmm, yummy. Oh, this is sweet mango. Isn't it? Correct. Time for item two. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. I know this. It's not as sweet as mango. Mmm. It's yummy, juicy orange. Yes. Do you like orange? Mmm. Two out of two so far, Leah. Yeah. Okay, here comes the last item. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it feels like orange. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that is as sour as a lemon. There's a reason for that. <laughs> because it is lemon. Maddie, it's so sour. Are you okay? Mm, I am. Uh, I do like lemon, but I usually don't have it just by itself. I've spotted something. Mango is sweet, lemon is sour, and orange is somewhere in between. I have a question. Why are some foods more sour than others? That's an excellent question, Leah. Foods that are sour have high levels of acid. I know a science experiment that can help us explore this idea. Excellent. Let's investigate. Come on. It's science time. For this experiment, you'll need a purple cabbage, water, lemon juice, bicarb soda, and three glasses. Welcome to the science time lab. Are you ready to experiment? I am. And we have lots of helpful supplies here to explore why some things are sour and some things aren't. Basically how acidic things are. If something is acidic, it means it has lots of acid in it. I'm thinking we can test how much acid is in something using this purple cabbage. <laughs> A cabbage? Really? That's right. Let's begin the experiment. First, I've soaked this chopped up cabbage in hot water for 15 minutes, so the water absorbed the anthocyanin. Antho what? Anthocyanin. Anthocyanin. Yes. Anthocyanin is a pH indicator you can get from purple cabbage. A pH indicator is something you can mix with another ingredient, which will change colour. The new colour shows us the pH level of the ingredient. A low pH level means it is acidic, and a high pH level means it's not acidic. OK, so how do we know what the colours are showing us? We can use this pH colour chart. Oh. When the purple cabbage water mixes with acidic ingredients that have a low pH level, it will turn red or pink. But when it mixes with high pH level ingredients, it will turn blue, green or even yellow. And anything neutral will be purple. OK, so we're mixing the purple cabbage water, the pH indicator, with some other ingredients. Yeah, this lemon juice, water and this bicarb soda. Huh. Let's experiment! What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science! And scientifically, maybe we'll make a discovery. Mixing bicarb soda, squeezing all the lemons, testing pH levels. What will we see? You and me. Let's experiment! What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. Well, here we are. All three ingredients are ready. Great. Let's begin with the bicarb of soda first. Let's pour in the purple cabbage water. OK, in it goes. Oh, wow, look at that. It's blue. So that means... It has a... Oh. 
high pH level. Exactly. Ha-ha. <laughs> okay, water next. Okay. In goes the purple cabbage water. Ooh. It stayed purple, which means it's neutral. That's right. Yes. And the lemon juice, last of all, have you got a prediction, Leah? Well, uh, from previous experience, Maddie, I would say it's sour, which means it's acidic, which means it has a low pH level, and I think it'll be pink. Okay, so what do you think? Let's find out. Okay, let's try. Here we go. I was right. It's bright pink, which means it has a low pH level, which means it's acidic. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see what we discovered. So we wanted to find out why some things are sour and some things aren't. When things are sour, it means they're acidic. The way we test if things are acidic is by seeing an amazing colour change using cabbage water. Acidic things like lemon juice change the cabbage water to pink. Things that weren't acidic change to blue or just stay purple. Wow. Maddie, thank you so much for coming in today and showing us such a fun experiment. And hey, thanks for the lemons. Anytime. It's been lots of fun. <laughs> thanks so much. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 We made lots of different colours in our experiment today. All the colours of the rainbow. Well, some of them. Can you paint a rainbow with me? Got your paintbrush ready? Paint some red up in the sky. Some orange and some yellow way up high. Paint some green and blue, some indigo too. Then paint some violet. And what do you get? Some red up in the sky. Woo some orange and some yellow way up high. Paint some green and blue, some indigo too. Then paint some violet. And what do you get? All the colors of the rainbow. All the colors of the rainbow. Ah, I love rainbows. Well, maybe you'd like to do the purple cabbage water test or a taste test with some of your favourite fruits. So discover your way with some science time today. Bye.